Hey everyone, today I want to take a couple of minutes to explain how to modify a Polaroid 600 type camera in order to take long exposures. Now I do realize this is a very niche topic, but since I found it difficult to find any videos on this question, I decided to make one myself. Using this technique you will be able to expose for as long as you want to, for many hours even, if that's what you're looking for. A couple of things beforehand though, if you're planning to take multiple exposures, I suggest a different uh, modification and I'll post the link to that technique in the video description. Also, I've only tried this with uh, Polaroid Originals 600 type model. I have no idea whether this works on the One Step 2 models and if you're using the SX70 which allows for long exposures, this workaround probably won't be necessary. Okay, so I first found the description of this method on a website that I will also be linking below, but it was a little rudimentary, so I acquired this um, old but functioning camera, so I wouldn't have to modify my own in case anything went wrong. For the sake of this video, I will show you all the steps, but cut out some unnecessary parts in order to keep it short and simple. Let's get to it. First, you will have to remove the front of the camera using the teardown manual, which I will also be linking below. Make sure you remove the film and battery before you do this. Okay, so I've sped this up a little and this is what you'll be looking at when you've removed the front of your Polaroid camera. Now there's a little spring located right here under this piece of plastic. Um, I can't show you because I've removed it already but um, there's a little spring right there. And I suggest you uh, just loosen it with some pliers and then just clip it. You could remove the whole spring but it's easier just to just to clip the the front end, which uh, which will be poking out of here once you've uh, loosened it. And once that's done, you can basically put your camera back together, and I'll show you how the rest of it works in just a second. Okay, so that's about it. Now, with the spring removed, it will be possible to take pictures with the film door open. This is the essential hack. For demonstrational purposes, let me just insert a blank film. Um, that I've loaded with uh, failed Polaroids. Now, the dark slide will eject the second you put the film in, so make sure to um, close the door rapidly after you've put the film in. Okay, so the next step requires some good timing. Go out to wherever you want to take your shot and open the film door. Set your exposure compensation to maximum brightness and cover the light meter because this will um, get the camera to open the shutter for the longest possible time. This should be about one quarter of a second. Once you've set this, cover the lens with a piece of cardboard. This will be removed later on. Now you will need one more piece of cardboard to literally shove below your film pack. This will disrupt the battery and the shutter will stay open. Here's a little demonstration. This is without the cardboard to disrupt the battery. This is with the cardboard to disrupt the battery. As you can see, the shutter will stay open for as long as you keep this piece of cardboard in there. Now keep in mind, once you press the shutter button, you only have a quarter of a second to disrupt the battery. You still have the cardboard covering your lens though, so um, once you've blocked the shutter open, you can position your camera, then remove the cardboard and expose for as long as you want. When you decide you've exposed long enough, simply place the cardboard in front of your lens again, close the top of your camera, then remove the cardboard from under your film pack. The film will now be ejected, however, since the rollers can't get hold of it, you can carefully push it back in a little bit, close your film door and press the shutter again. Also, you can try to remove the cardboard and close the film door as fast as you can. And there's your long exposure. I hope this helps for those of you struggling with this technique or wanting to try something new. There's honestly no good reason to subscribe to my channel, but do feel free to like this video, 
Um, and if you have any experience trying this, um, do let me know. Feel free to comment or um, PM me and have fun experimenting.